When a Mi-17 helicopter with a square radar, hanging from its tail passed by on CCTV, military observers and the foreign media were puzzled. This steel hippopotamus, which was born in the Soviet Union era, was given the ability to be the eye in the sky, by China eye in the sky, ability by China, from a clumsy means of transportation to a sharp early warning platform. This transformation not only reveals the deep-seated breakthrough in Chinese aviation technology, but also reflects the disruptive changes in the Army's combat system. In the 1990s, China's land and aviation forces faced the dilemma of organic wingless. Domestic straight eight series is difficult to mass production due to the technical bottleneck of the Vortex engine, and the Russian-made Mi-17 has become China's emergency introduction of the life-saving straw by virtue of its high reliability, high plateau performance and low price advantages. As of 2019, China has introduced more than 400 Mi-8, 17 series helicopters, which constitute the air mobility skeleton of the land navigation force. However, the original design of these helicopters only focuses on the transportation function, and the radar and avionics systems are outdated, making it difficult to meet the needs of the informationized battlefield. The turning point was the breakthrough of domestic turboshaft engine technology. With the maturity of straight 8G, Straight 8L and other domestic models, the Mi-17 gradually relegated to the second line, but China did not abandon it, but instead opened a revolution of old equipment intelligence. Through reverse engineering, China not only cracked the underlying code of the Russian avionics system, but also successfully integrated Baidu navigation, domestic data chain and Russian airframe, realizing a comprehensive control from hardware to software. This technological breakthrough was made public for the first time at the 2016 Zhuhai Air Show. The Mi-17 mounted with a domestically produced electronic warfare pod was unveiled. With jamming equipment capable of constructing electromagnetic barriers within a 300-kilometer radius and inducing deflection of missiles through active infrared countermeasure systems, China's transformation of the Mi-17 is not a simple superimposition of equipment but based on the depth of the systematic operational needs of the reconstruction. The latest exposure of the early warning model is particularly typical. The tail of the additional phased array radar detection distance of only 150 kilometers, but can be quickly deployed within 20 minutes for the ground troops to provide low altitude blindness. This kind of close to the ground early warning ability in mountain combat is called a killer application. Helicopters can be hovering in the anti-slope guiding long-range rockets to accurately hit hidden targets, while retaining the transport function at any time to switch to the frontline command center. In contrast, although India for the Mi-17V5 retrofitted with weather radar, but relies on the US Telefonics or DR-1600 system, exposing the plight of the core technology subject to constraints. China, on the other hand, has developed a completely autonomous radar and electronic warfare suite and has even developed a multi-state model not envisioned by Russia. For example, some of the improved models can mount anti-tank missiles and rocket launching nests while retaining transport capability, transforming them into armed transport helicopters, a flexibility that contrasts sharply with the secretly modified Mi-17 used by the U.S. military in Afghanistan. The Mi-17's philosophy of transformation is on full display in the plateau confrontation. Modified electronic warfare models have released electromagnetic fog, so that the opponent's radar screen, Snowflake, frequently retrofitted with infrared countermeasure system models, more successful deflection of a number of man pads. This ability stems from its unique plateau adaptability. The VK2500 engine gives it a 4,150 meter ground effective, hovering ceiling, far more than the domestic models such as Straight 10. While the modular design allows for rapid replacement of mission equipment to adapt to the ever-changing battlefield environment, it is worth noting that China's choice of Mi-17 rather than the new Straight 8L is an early warning platform, implying subtle equipment management wisdom, Straight 8L capacity to prioritize the protection of amphibious shipboard demand. While the Mi-17 fuselage life is approaching the mid-term, the transformation of not only extend the service cycle, but also to avoid occupying the main models of resources. This, old bottles with new wine, strategy in the PLA helicopters total exceeded 2,000 background, maximizing the release of equipment effectiveness. India's LCH, Prachand, armed helicopter project, known as the Plateau Killer, but its localization rate of only 45%, the core components rely on the French engine, 
Israel optoelectronic equipment and Swedish radar, exposing the fatal flaws of technological autonomy. China's transformation of the Mi-17 is based on independent research and development from radar, data chain to electronic warfare systems are localized. This difference is also reflected in the Afghan battlefield, although the United States to Afghanistan to provide Black Hawk helicopters, but the Afghan Air Force still insisted on the use of Mi-17 because of its transport capacity and plateau adaptability is irreplaceable. However, the U.S. will be left in Afghanistan Mi-17 to Ukraine's behavior, not only triggered a strong protest from Russia, but also highlights the model in the global conflict of the enduring vitality. The history of the Mi-17's metamorphosis reflects the deep evolutionary logic of China's military industry. The early experience of copying the MiG-17 fighter jet laid the foundation for reverse innovation, while today's magical transformation of Russian-made equipment marks a leap from technology follower to rule maker. When the West focuses on the development of sixth-generation aircraft, China is systematic thinking to reconstruct the battlefield. The old Mi-17 intelligent transformation transformed into a distributed combat network of nerve endings and straight-20 anti-submarine, straight-8L medical type and other new models, weaving the whole area of the joint combat network. In the future, with the fusion of artificial intelligence and unmanned wingman technology, these transformed platforms may become the loyal wingman of the air mothership. An early warning type Mi-17 command dozens of drones to implement the swarm attack scene or will completely subvert the traditional air warfare model. The U.S. will be Afghanistan's Mi-17 legacy to Ukraine's behavior. From the side of the proof of this model in the global conflict and the enduring vitality, Mi-17, 72 changes, reveals a more profound evolutionary logic of China's military industry. The real combat power to enhance the equipment does not lie in the old and the new, but in the ability to systematize thinking to make each weapon new life. When India is still for the compatibility of imported equipment headache when the United States rely on gray means to obtain Russian equipment, China has been through independent innovation an obsolete transport aircraft into a definition of the future rules of the battlefield force multiplier. This ability may be China's military change in the most scary opponents, invisible trump card. From cracking the Russian code to build a full area combat network, from the electromagnetic fog on the plateau to the prototype of swarming tactics, the transformation history of the Mi-17 is not only a piece of technology against the legend, but also a mirror reflecting China's military industry from the follow to the lead mirror. When the world's attention is focused on the sixth generation of warplanes, China is another way to prove the key to victory or defeat on the battlefield may not be in the advanced or not of a single weapon, but who can be lower cost, more flexible thinking. Every piece of equipment into the system of the torrent 